taken down early, but you didn't panic at all, which is kind of your style, but did you intend for the match to be as wide open as it ended up? I mean, yeah, I was going out there. I knew he was a scrappy kid. I knew he likes bladles, cradles. Uh, I kind of got caught in the cradle there, but caught my way out of it. He had a couple back points, but I wasn't worried. Pretty good at coming back and come down by a couple points and getting the win. Kind of similar styles in that regard, maybe not necessarily, you know, the cradling, but you guys like to scramble, you know, yeah. high risk, high reward. Is that, are matches like that fun to be a part of? Uh, yeah, I get kind of nerve wracking knowing that that kid's a little scrappy too, but I just go out there and do my thing. I know I'm capable of winning every match that I go out there and do that, so might as well just let it fly in my last high school match. With the late reversal to go up 15 to 13, you were still trying to turn him there for a while. At what point do you finally settle in and just realize, hey, if I just sit here, I, I can finish it out. It, it kind of goes against your nature to a, little, to a certain extent, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a big duel. I want to get the fall. Kind of let my team out down there, but getting the wins just as big. Uh, I mean, I looked up, I think there's set six seconds left. I kind of just sat there. You probably, you guys probably saw it on the match. I just sat there with, ball and chain as I call it so I mean at that point I know I probably wasn't gonna get the fall might as well just sit there and kind of relax soak it in was there extra pressure you know with that tight loss right before you were, were you feeling like you you needed to have that one for the team uh, no I didn't feel like I had to have it I just wanted it I know that I got great kids in the lineup that one loss isn't gonna hurt us that much we just gotta fight back keep winning the matches we have to and win the ones we're not supposed to